Hi. Our topic is about describing simple machines, their characteristics and uses. Let's begin. Here are the things that we should learn by the end of this lesson. Simple machines transfer force from a place to another or change its direction. Simple machines also increase the magnitude of force exerted and the distance from which force is be applied. All these enable work to be done easier. Here are the six types of simple machines. First, let us learn about the lever and its characteristics and uses. A lever has a long, stiff beam or bar resting, and a fulcrum. It is used to carry or lift heavy objects easily. It consists of three main parts, the fulcrum, the load, and the effort. The fulcrum is where the rod or beam pivots, the reason why it is also called pivot. The load refers to the weight carried by a lever, while the effort is the force applied to do the action. There are three types of a lever. In a first class lever, the fulcrum is located between the load and the effort. An example of a first class lever is a pair of scissors. Note that the fulcrum of a lever does not need to be at the middle at all times. The next type of lever is the second class lever. In a second class lever, the load is positioned between the fulcrum and the effort. Usually, lifting is made more possible and easier with a second class lever. An example of an actual lever like this is an ice cream cart. The third and last type of lever is the third class lever. In a third class lever, the effort is located at the middle of the load and the fulcrum, which are at the opposite ends of the beam. An example of this is a baseball bat. In this lesson, we have learned about simple machines which are objects that make activities and work easier for us. There are many types of simple machines, and one of which is the lever which is used to carry or lift heavy object easily. The lever has three parts namely the fulcrum, the load, and the effort, and has three types as well, which are first, second, and third class levers.